Angels Don't Wear Pajamas came as a really difficult title. It took me a long time to come up with a title to tell someone, I just don't want you to feel sorry for me. I want you to understand that there really is hope out there. And I wanted you to feel inspired so that you don't wait for something like what happened to me. I don't want you to sit in your chair and wait for some trauma to happen or something awful because unfortunately we don't invite trouble. Trouble finds us and those are normal things that we go through in life. Those are normal trials that we struggle through different things. But I wanted you to start the gears rolling in your own hearts. I wanted you to dream the dream that you wanted to. Not because you're saying to yourself, well, when the kids are older, well, when the mortgage is paid, well, when I'm doing X, Y, and Z. That's not the idea. I am very grateful for cancer. I am not the same person. I know that. But I am so much more grateful for everything that has come my way. And the people who are here with me today know me more than anyone else in the world. You are my witnesses and you are my testimony that one does survive and one can go forward in life. It's not what we go through. It's what we do when we've gone through it. What are you going to do when that happens? And I'll tell you, I am no martyr. And I did suffer through a lot of depression. And I was wearing my pajamas all the time. And I did say to you that there are angels. And I truly believe there are. Well, my little angel came from that little woman over there, 76-year-old mother, who finally came into the house one day with my dad, God bless his soul, who said it's time to get out of those pajamas. And I was beside myself. I said, no, somebody's going to see that I'm limping. Somebody is going to see that I have a cane now. I'm not the same girl. And I don't want to rehash the story. And she said, no, it's time. And finally I said, no, mom, I don't think you understand. What if I die? And then she said, so, did you not have a wonderful career? Yes, I love York Region Board. I love being part of the York Region Board mission and, and everything it stood for, thanks to Bill Hogarth. I believed in everything that that man did and will always do. So that was wonderful for me. That was a given. Well, what about your children? Aren't you blessed that you have children? Yes, I was blessed. I have two healthy children. I'm truly blessed. And did you not have a wonderful husband? Yes, I have a great husband and a home. So then what more would you want, she said to me. And when she said that, it's like time stood still. And I finally realized she's right. It's time for me to get out of those pajamas because angels like her don't wear pajamas. <laughs> they don't wear pajamas. They're out there telling you and me to get up and move on. And that's what we are here. We've gotten up, we have risen to the occasion, and we are moving on. We're gonna go forward, no matter what we're facing. It doesn't matter. They're gonna come anyways, but we have to put on a shield, a shield that, that says we are cared for, we are loved, that we share the pain together, that we share the joys together, and together we do find cures for cancer. There have been a lot of eradication of cancer, and we are so grateful for Dr. Bell. And Dr. Robert Bell is my surgeon, the president of the Ontario Health Network. And he is out of the country. The man is a very busy guy. But we are blessed and we are here today to encourage you to go forward in your life and make the most of it. Don't worry and don't wait for something to happen. You're very fortunate. The sun is always shining in your face. It's never raining. So always change that attitude. And you know what? There's always two roads to pick, isn't there? The high road or the low road. The happy road or the sad road. The miserable road or the optimistic road. You can whine and complain, and that's fine, but you gotta move on. Every one of us in this room today, in this entire building, faces a challenge of some kind. 
Every single one. There is no one in here who is immune to that. No one. That's why whether you're 10 or whether you're 12 or whether you're 20 or whether you're 50 or 80 or 90, you all have the same choice. When you get up in the morning, you say, thank you, God, I'm here. I want to make the best of it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Think about today and make the most of what you have. And believe me, you aren't here for a reason. God didn't bring you on this earth for nothing. You all have a purpose. You have heard that line so much. I never thought I would be singing country music, for one. And I had to go through some vocal lessons when I'll never forget. And I remember meeting a Russian lady, a nice, big, strong Russian lady. And I went to her for vocal music. And she said to me, Okay, Christina, you want to sing? I said, yes, I do. Okay, come to piano, we play. So I walk over to this blonde, robust woman, and she plays a piece on the piano, and, and I, la, 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 and she grabbed herself without a lie. She hit her head. She goes, oh my God, you sound like truck driver. <laughs> you are going to need a lot of lessons. I hope you have lots of money. <laughs> At $75 for half an hour, boy, I needed lots of money. So there were days that she would come, I would go up those stairs and into her office, and she'd have a shirt that said, I'm on Prozac, right? <laughs> and so I'd say to her, and she'd go, Christina, you're here today. You ready to sing? You don't, you read my shirt, right? So I would start, and of course she would yell at me, and oh, it was unbelievable. And then finally one day, after many lessons, she said, now, Christina, you sing very nice. Now you go to a recording studio. So that was the end. But finally, I was broke. I couldn't have her anymore. I had to move on myself. And so we recorded Whenever Angels Sing, and we recorded many other songs, thanks to some wonderful people from Warner Chapel. So Angels Don't Wear Pajamas will always be a reminder to all of us that this is a testimony of what it is to, to draw up the courage from your feet and to go forward no matter what the odds, no matter what is facing you today. Okay? So remember that. So when you see me and when you're encouraged, then I will know that I have done God's work.